Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can send an email notification with a form response to the person who submitted that response. Now I've got this demo form set up here. And if you're sharing this form within your Office 365 tenant, then that functionality already exists. So we can go up to the settings here for our form and you can see the settings here who can fill out this form uh, if we're only sending this to people in our organization then we can't actually get their name and email address and then send a notification with their response to that person now if we are sending this to anyone with the link then we don't actually have that option to send out the email uh, to that person because we don't know who that person is going to be. But we can use the form to capture their email and then use Power Automate to send that email address the re submitted response. So let's head over to Power Automate and let's create a new automation. And let's just name this And then the trigger is going to be when our form gets a new response submitted. And that's right here. If you don't see it, just search for Microsoft Forms in here and you should find it. Let's create that. And then we just have to find the form that we have. So mine's called Demo Form. And now if we add an email step, so let's just search for email and I'm going to be using Gmail. Uh, you might want to use Office 365 Outlook to send your emails. So that's your email within your Office 365 tenant. And we're going to send an email. And now if I go into the body here, notice that I don't actually have the dynamic content from my form submission. And what you actually have to do is add another action after this trigger here. So let's search for forms. And here's Microsoft Forms. And the action is actually the only one. We need to get the response details. So we can again find our form, demo forms. And then we need to get a response ID to return the response details. And now that's where we can use the dynamic content from our trigger step here. So the only dynamic content that's available from this uh, new response submitted trigger is actually the response ID. So let's use that. And now in any subsequent steps, we can use dynamic content for the response from this step. So let's go back to our email and now we can First of all, let's send this to the email address that we are capturing in our form. And actually notice that I have two. So this responder's email is the email address from our Office 365 tenant if we're sending it internally. So I don't actually want that. What I want is the email address from my form. So we're relying on the user to correctly input their email address in the form itself and then use that to send the notification. And let's just add a subject of your form submission. And thanks for submitting your response. And then here we can add in the color that they chose. And then also the movie that they chose in the form. And now we can save that and let's test this out. So let's head back to our Microsoft form and let's just go to preview mode here. And let's actually fill this out. So let's maybe 
uh, select red and Terminator 2. And let's add in my email address. And let's submit that. All right, let's head back to our flow. And we can see that that just ran and it ran successfully. So let's head over to our email and check out if we have something here. So here's our form submission and here's our color of red and Terminator 2 that we chose in our form. So that's how we can get the response details and email them to whoever submitted the form. So first of all, we need to rely on that user inputting their own email address. And then after that, we actually need to add an action to get the response details based on the response ID. Now this can be a little bit dangerous because actually Microsoft Forms, if I go back here, uh, doesn't allow any sort of data validation. So they can put any text in here and they don't have to input an email address in this to submit their response. So I actually found a better form solution that's also integrated with Power Automate. So I prefer using Cognito Forms and like their tagline here says, easily build powerful forms. Uh, they also have a free plan that's going to allow you to do a lot of really good stuff uh, for most uses, you'll probably get away with the free plan. And of course, obviously they have paid plans here that you can upgrade to if you need to. So in Cognito Forms, they actually have data validation. So you can create a field that only is going to allow an email address to be input into it. And then you can use that to send your emails, uh, notifications when someone submits, uh, this form. So Microsoft Forms is great for simple survey style things, but uh, if you really want a more robust form solution, check out Cognito Forms. Uh, it's what I've used for some client solutions and it works pretty good. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future videos like this one. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.